What's up? It's Joshua from Top Form Fitness, and once again, it's, it's time, time to do it with you. In this video, I want to talk about fat loss nutrition. We're going to cover the priorities related to eating for fat loss. confused and get questions from my clients as well as online about nutrition related to losing body fat. They hear about uh, vegan diets, paleo, uh, don't eat carbs after 6.04 p.m. I understand there's a lot of information and misinformation out there related to eating for fat loss. So we're going to cover that in this video and try to simplify things a little bit. Look at what the priorities are. So first of all, before we get into it, I want to talk about hydration, the importance of drinking enough water. Now, as long as you're drinking between two or three liters of water a day, you're probably covering your basic needs. Basically, try to drink until your pee is clear. So you don't want to have really dark colored urine. Uh, that's probably a pretty good sign that you're staying well hydrated. Now let's get into the priorities of nutrition for fat loss. The first one being having a caloric deficit. Eating less than you're burning off. Sounds pretty basic, but a lot of people just don't seem to get this. Yes, calories do matter, that we're talking about quantity here. You need to practice portion control if you want to lose body fat. A general guideline as far as how many calories you want to take in is between 10 to 12 calories per pound of your body weight per day. But that really depends on your age, your activity level, uh, and your current body weight. So the only way to really know is to keep track of it and then find out what your maintenance calories are, how much you're eating to keep your body weight where it is now and reduce that slightly. So you got to keep a nutrition journal and we'll talk about that in the next section, which is macronutrients, your macronutrient ratios. We're talking about protein, fats and carbohydrates here. Those are the nutrients which actually have calories. So the base, I would recommend making protein your base nutrient and aim for at least a gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. Uh, protein has a thermic effect. That basically means that when you consume protein to break it down and digest it, requires calories. So you're actually increasing your caloric expenditure just by consuming protein. Protein will also help you spare your muscle tissue, your lean tissue, while you're losing your body fat. Uh, the rest of your calories are going to be made up from carbohydrates and fats. I'd recommend maintaining some healthy fats in your diet. Don't go on a very low fat diet. And you may want to reduce carbohydrate intake, except for on the days that you're more active, you're performing strength training. But basically, proteins are base, and carbs and fats will make up the remainder of your calories. As far as knowing how many grams of protein, fats, and carbs you're getting in, again, you need to keep a nutrition journal. And I'd recommend a free app such as MyFitnessPal, but you can use any of those free apps or websites that are available to you online to track your calories and your macronutrients. For number three, we're gonna look at your food choices. So here is where quality comes into play. This is where people might be talking about glycemic index of foods, uh, consuming nutrient dense foods or higher fiber foods. You need to get your micronutrients in here, uh, your vitamins and minerals, as well as your macronutrients. Uh, that might be a reason to include vegetables and nutrient dense foods in your diet, uh, which will also cover your fiber intake there as well. Um, this is where you might consider eating less processed foods, like more whole foods. Basically, eat real foods versus crap. Uh, that does matter, although it is way down the list uh, after you've taken care of your calorie and your macronutrient needs. Okay, after that, we're looking at meal timing. This is where people talk about frequency, how many meals a day you got to eat. Don't eat after a certain time, which I question whether that really matters, but this is where you'd start looking at that stuff. A couple of things I would recommend you look into related to meal timing would be intermittent fasting. There's some interesting research on that. And carb manipulation, uh, like consuming carbs, cycling your carbs on certain days and higher and certain days lower. That includes carb backloading, which I found helpful as well, uh, consuming the majority of your carbs post-workout. So that's something you can look into as well. For meal timing, again, not the main thing, but it may help, may make a difference. So once you've got the first four priorities, on point, you've got those on track, then you can look at supplementation. Only once everything else is in place, supplements might make a difference. Uh, if you don't have those things on track, I wouldn't even bother about supplements. They won't make a huge difference. Everything else being perfect, fat loss supplementation may help you accelerate the fat loss process or help you maintain lean muscle tissue while you're losing body fat. 
But first, you gotta consider those first four points, and I hope that clarified fat loss nutrition for you, simplified things a little bit. If you have any questions about this, post them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, and until next time, stay lean.